Spurs three, Leeds nil. It was the Kane and Sun show once again, Yanish. In fact, it's the 13th time in the Premier League this season that one or the other has assisted one or the other. And basically that puts them level with an iconic partnership. You'll remember Chris Sutton and Alan Shearer. Talk to me a little bit about this duo. Well, it's uh, Batman and Robin, isn't it? Uh, I mean, we almost forget about them. They've been quiet for a couple of games. And I, I actually even, uh, I was making a note before the game happens, like, well, wait a second here. We we haven't seen that combination a couple of games. That's how spoiled uh, we have been. The understanding is tremendous, of course, between the two. It's always wonderful to watch because I mean, we, we get to see games from all over the world. And sometimes these partnerships, uh, partnerships take such a long, long time to develop. And I think Spurs and Jose Mourinho are extremely lucky to have him. Of course, it takes a lot of work and I want to give credit to everybody on Spurs, but these two players understand each other. I mean, that goal that was scored was so good on so many levels, uh, uh, right, Kay? I mean, when you think about it. I mean, just the turn on Strauch uh, uh, by, by uh, uh, Harry Kane there. And I don't know if you noticed, I mean, Son, without words, that communication was there, that little diagonal run to just let... Kane know that he wants it, right? And it's one thing to make the right run, but to deliver that ball behind the two defenders perfectly to just one touch it back, it was tremendous. We've seen it before, but in a way it continues to amaze me because they do have an understanding that's, uh, that's just on a, on a different level. We did see some good signs from Leeds United, and we usually do when this side does come out to play, as they always do. Was it a case of them just coming up against two top-class forwards today at Spurs? Uh, no, it, it was Jose, Jose Mourinho and Spurs at their best in a way. Maybe not the, not, not the way we love it and we like it as neutrals, right? But I mean, sit and wait type of situation. And Leeds were good early in the game. They stretched Spurs, Spurs at home once again, happy to sit back. And, and for a while there, I think the narrative was building, oh, here we go again, Spurs sitting at home, not attacking. Is that the way that, uh, you know... Harry Kane and, and Hume and Son want to play. Is that the best way to use them? And if it stayed like this, this is the conversation you and, I, you and I would be having. But because it didn't happen that way, and Batman and Robin, I my apologies, I don't want to brand them like that, but Kane and Son, uh, of course, showed the quality, and Jose Mourinho just uh, baited leads in, and in the end, it was much of the same for Leeds. Either they're great or they're not so great, but in the meantime, they still entertain you, don't they? Should that be the Spurs blueprint then, the way that we saw them today? Well, I think the blueprint is always to win games. And we've said this before, Kay, and I think it's worth repeating. If at the end of this, there's something to show for, then nobody's going to care how they did it, how they played. I still think that we don't give them enough credit for the way they uh, sometimes find way to, ways to win. I think the obvious is, of course, they've been in a situation a few games before now. If you look at the, the way they conceded late against Palace and, and uh, Wolves and, you know, uh, Liverpool, right? Uh, Leicester City, they've been on a bad run. They needed this. It doesn't really matter how. I mean, this in the end was a good result. And by the way, they've created tons of chances today, even though initially they were kind of sitting back. This could have been 5-6-0. Yeah, the goals are keeping on coming, especially with those two, as we mentioned. As for Leeds, what do you make of their risk and reward style of football under Marcelo Bielsa? Well, I, th I think, you know, by now I've learned to live with it. I think that's his philosophy. He's been out there saying he's never changing it. Fair play. I mean, I could criticize that because you always want a little bit of balance. Uh, uh, but you know the, they're you know they're one of the teams. Think about it. If you're neutral, it's one of the te teams that you want to watch over some big big names in this Premier League, right? They excite you. So we've seen the statistics. I saw you tweet earlier today how many goals conceded. You know, it was 30 and 30 before seven wins, seven seven losses, couple of draws. Um, you know, the one thing that I would ask of, of Marcelo Bielsa, because I think he's a good, you know, manager and everybody thinks he's this absolutely great, is to work on those set pieces. Another one, they are the worst in the league with that, although there's probably some other categories they're not the, the best in, but you've got to work on that. If you're a great manager, you find ways. And, and again, maybe today wouldn't have mattered, but another near post header type of goal, it can be worked on.
Yeah, on Aldeveral's goal. Well, actually, those stats now make it very a little bit more unbalanced. So it was, as you said, 30 goals scored, 30 goals conceded coming into it. Now, obviously, they've conceded more goals than they've scored right now. But they do continue to entertain their fans. Their fans are defending them. Do you think they'll be safe this season? Uh, absolutely. I just don't. I just don't see it. I always think that you know teams and. In the end, when it becomes a little bit tight, defending is important, but even more important is ability to score. And I think I look at teams in behind them who barely, barely get a look at goal. I mean, if they get one chance or two, they're happy. And, and so uh, ultimately, I think the, 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 the goals that Leeds are capable of scoring will get them more points, more than enough to stay safe. Jose Mourinho frustrated, no doubt, with Doherty sending off at the end of this game when you've got a win, when you've got a clean sheet, you've seen it through. Probably not the only player that he's upset with at the moment with some of the reports that we've seen, Yanish, with Lamella, Ocelso and Regulon spending Christmas Day together. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, on one hand, I, I look at this and, you know, a win will hide some of the issues off the pitch a little bit, right? Jose Mourinho, I mean, imagine if they lost today and, you know, those reports still, you know, come, uh, come in. It's uh, irresponsible, inexcusable. And I think this this win actually, in a way, will hide that for some. But I think Jose Mourinho will be even more bold to now go have a go at these players and make a point. Say, look, we've won this game, but what if... What if we wouldn't, right? And even the, even you know uh, Doherty and and that issue, um, Serge or yeah, wasn't even in the squad. I'm not sure what this was about. Maybe just a little bit of a knock. I, you know, I don't want to go out there and say it was just because he. Uh, mentioned Paris Saint-Germain in his comments that he would never say no to them or sometimes his indiscipline on the pitch in terms of making rush decisions uh, because I don't know for sure you know I'd imagine that maybe he did have a knock but with Doherty out now it's going to be important that Serge Aurier is going to be in the right mind and available so yes Jose Mourinho will have a bone to pick and he's going to be emboldened by this win because he's going to have a lot of power to 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 have a go at some of these players. A strong start, though, for Spurs to 2021. Are they still a threat for the title? Uh, <laughs> who hasn't been a threat to a title? You're asking me these, you know, I know it's a, it's a legitimate question, I suppose, uh, Kay, but we've named probably 10 or 12 teams at one point or another where they've led, you know, in the table or where they're or thereabouts. So uh, they're third after a bad run of results, right? Think about that. I mean, it has been a bad run. This is the sort of league we're dealing with. Manchester United are level with Liverpool right now, and we've had uh, Ole, uh, uh, you know, uh, sacked a number of occasions. So I'm going to say that they're going to be an uncomfortable uh, uh, team to deal with, especially with Jose. So ask me this a month from now. Okay, I'll remember to do that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.